it from the city beautiful Orlando, Florida. In some of the previous shows we discussed the unfairness of income distribution to the music industry professionals. Not surprisingly, I came across with another similar article in Digital Music News confirming that issue. Universal Music Group CEO Lucian Crench is reportedly to set to earn north of 200 million in 2021, more than the combined 2019 income attributable to streaming and sales of every songwriter in UK and the 61-year-old's massive salary is drawing criticism from some fans, industry, organizations and lawmakers. A classic and at the same time progressive. Let's hear one of the comments of uh, Easter McVeigh, member of Parliament of the United Kingdom. She quotes, The real heroes are the song writers and musicians who, with their music, make this world a better place. And there is one from the artist Nile Rogers supporting the position. So absolutely I am supporting them in their bid to get a fair payment when their music is streamed. Fair days pay for a fair day's work. Now let's see who are our guests tonight. Tonight we are going to enjoy the music of David Garfield, musician, arranger for Smokey Robinson, musical director for George Benson, keyboard player for Natalie Cole, Boss Keck, Freddie Hubert, Blue Note Records. Welcome to Light Lounge with Dimitri K. David. Thanks for having me, Dimitri. It's great to be here. We are listening to Critchy Stump.
You work with an incredible line of singers and musicians as keyboard player, arranger and music director. Is any of those positions are preference for you or are you equally comfortable in all? I'm equally comfortable doing all these roles. My mission statement is I make music. And what that really means is I write music, arrange music, rehearse music, record music and perform music. Uh, and I even listen to music. And music speaks for you, David. I do like to be able to arrange the music and record it. I do like to arrange the music and rehearse it with musicians for recording or live performance, but I just like creating the whole musical experience, whether it be live or recorded. And we can see why musicians like George Benson wanted you for the last 30 years as a music director. And let's listen to Home.
you just released the sixth album of Out of the Box series, which features again great players and guest artists. Would you share with us some more details? Got to work with some of my favorite keyboard players, uh, great Greg Fillingaines and David Page, Steve Picaro, my good friend Jason Chef, who was lead singer for the group Chicago. So many wonderful players, uh, many members of the Zach Brown Band and members of Tom Petty's Heartbreakers as well. Things uh, We had uh, the great Steve Jordan in who just joined the Rolling Stones now and other notable artists. Um, and the list goes on and on. We're listening to Prophecy, David Garfield, Out of the Box, number six.
you recorded and played with a variety of top talent in the music industry, what is the next unexplored avenue for David Garfield? I think next year I'll try doing a solo piano record. I've got some ideas of uh, exploring just the piano, hopefully with no overdubs. We'll see how that goes. We're listening to Waiting for Your Love.
One of my favorite songs when I first heard the Beatles was John Lennon's Strawberry Fields. A couple of years ago I heard your awesome interpretation of the song. Tell me something about your inspiration for this song. The inspiration for my Strawberry Fields arrangement was I was uh, working a lot with uh, my friend Greg Bissonette, a wonderful drummer who loved the Beatles, and this is actually long before he joined Ringo's band. And he loved the Beatles so much, I said, let me take a Beatles song and adapt it to my style, which is more, a little more fusion. And I came up with this arrangement, which we originally did instrumentally back in, I think it was 1992, 1993. But we eventually recorded it in 95, and then I released it actually four different times, four different versions, two instrumental, two vocal, one is on Vox Outside the Box, and the others, other vocal versions on Alex Legend Outside the Box. I was also able to go to see Strawberry Fields when I was in Liverpool on tour with George Benson. I did the Beatles tour, and I got to see Paul's Child at Home and other things like that, Penny Lane and Strawberry Fields, which was an orphanage behind where John Lennon lived. Great piece of history recreated with your imagination, Dave.
for crossing creative boundaries and genres, unifying and bringing to exposure artists and musicians for his sixth album series, Outside of the Box. Light Lounge with Dimitri K awards David Garfield with the most influential musician 2021. Congratulations, David. Dimitri, thank you so much for having me, and I hope everybody enjoys all of our music. Uh, there are six CDs in the Outside the Box set, and uh, many more CDs are with my group Charisma, Los Lobotomies, the tribute to Jeff Picaro. Please just look me up under David Garfield on Spotify, Apple Music, Amazon, or go to davidgarfield.com for more information. Thank you so much. Everybody, let's make the world a better place through music, brotherhood, and positivity. Have a great day. Let's do it, David. One piece of music at a time. From shuffling outside of the box, we're listening to the title song. Life is better than listening to a commercial radio station playing endlessly a few resembling songs. If you feel that way, you came at the right place. Light Lounge with Dimitri K plays the best award winners and independent artists around the world. And now let me quickly go back to the article at the beginning of the show. Multiple regional outlets have reported on the windfall that Lucian Crange is expected to enjoy in 2021, and the lion's share of the multi-million dollar sum will derive from one-time a bonus associated with Universal Music's September 2021 IPO. Okay, let's think about it. Without the initiative of certain CEOs, the corporate advancement and product of the corporations are not going to be well exposed and the sales won't be as effective. 
but in this case the product is not as the cell phones, computers and electric cars almost created in the garages by the founders of Apple and Tesla, Steve Jobs and Elon Musk. The product of Universal Music Group is music created for many years by hundreds of thousands of musicians and if the value of Universal Music Group is increasing, that fair share of increase should be more fairly distributed in the hands of the army of musicians creators. And this is certainly simply my opinion. I'd love to hear what's yours. Shoot me an email at kopublishing at gmail.com And now let's listen to a new instrumental from David Fogel, November 9, dedicated to the birthday of his kids. Chris Angeles and you're listening to Light Lounge with Dimitri K. I'd give anything stripped. Chris Angeles. Now I'd give anything 
Hi, my name is Stephen John, and you're listening to The Light Lounge with Dimitri K. I'm from Trinidad and Tobago, a twin island republic in the Caribbean, and this year I submitted In This Together, a single that I composed in 2020 for consideration at the 64th Grammys. I'm particularly proud of this piece because it features many artists from around the world and the Caribbean coming together to this cry for humanity to help each other during the COVID pandemic. It was a serious work in progress, but we pulled it off, even giving all of the challenges and quarantine situations, and I'm really, really happy to share it with you. You can find it online at all the digital outlets. So have a great evening, everyone, and do continue to support independent music. In this together, Stephen John. But I want you to know where
let's listen to one exciting song called Manjoy Hill, performed by Ash Kellett, featuring Tomiko Dixon. Just about 1825, trade winds blew to the northern skies, bringing freedom to a deep water port for hard work and labor. A last resort from Jamaica, Cape Verde, West Indies, Carolinas, Virginia, New York, Wisconsin, and Georgia, seamen and porters. Cobblers and merchants And longshore wives With kids in the corner The coast of Maine Can be cold as ice In the winter months Being free would suffice These warm weather hearts Were enough to charm A place to call home And away from harm In Montjoy Hill In Montjoy Hill Joy Hill in Montjoy Hill. In the wake of Casco Bay, under cover of darkness, some would say ships rolled in with their precious trade, kept secrets underground and from the light of day. Some would remain and build a church. Some would flee north in their freedom search. Hands on the tiller, all hands on deck. Set foot on this ground, some had left. This old port was for hardy souls, making their homes this side of the shoals. East End Beach in the promenade circled this port from the old slave trade in Montjoy Hill. Some found peace in the old East End, made alive some born free men. And then it came, the laws had changed to appease the South in their Confederate ways. The coast of Maine could be as cold as ice in the winter months, being free would suffice. Warm where the hearts were enough to charm a place to call home. Hi, Selah Avery, the Queen of Worship Soul here, and I just want to celebrate my second Grammy nomination for your consideration. But this year, it's for my album, Fearless Vibes, nominated for Best Electronic Dance Album. Thank you all so much, especially all the DJs. And make sure you pick up Fearless Vibes anywhere music is sold digitally. Thank you so much for your support.
Let him know he's the cop. Let him know that you know. Don't have to be in fancy ways. As long as they see that you glow, they seeing you glow. When them hands is raised and your worship displayed, being your soul, constantly seeing your growth. Yeah, yeah, no impeding your oath. My father walks with me, so I speak to you in songs and hymns with songs that evolve from him. Listening to Light Lounge with Dimitri K. It's time to say goodbye. And remember, hesitation is temporary music loss forever. Most of the artists you heard on this show are independent artists. And if you like some of them, you can Google the name and find them on Spotify, iTunes, Amazon, and the rest of the digital media. And that would be a great support for them. For any comments, suggestions and feedback, please email me at kopublishing at gmail.com. I'm Dimitri K, broadcasting from the city beautiful Orlando, Florida. Hey John, is that the blue cat you're talking about?